How's it going? David from Comic Book Investments. So in this video, this is a very sad video. We're going to look at five keys that are dropping in prices. Oh, breaks my heart to see all these comic books dropping. But the dropping still continues. You know, obviously, it's not as bad as it was before. And like I said, in many of my videos, I said, we're I think we're turning the corner. Now, does that mean that every single book is just going to turn the corner? No, some books are going to keep dropping pretty much forever you know, not forever, but for a very long time. And they're just going to go off into obscurity because it wasn't, they were artificially inflated by certain hype and people not understand. A lot of people during 2021 jumped into comics, not realizing anything about comics or how it worked. There's like, oh, comic books is a new hot investment or new hot thing, or I have all this money and I just want to blow it on something. So they blew it on comic books and artificially pumped up certain books that shouldn't have been pumped up. Um, so you're going to see this few of those books on here, and you're gonna, I'm going to make a lot of people angry. But let's get into five comic books that are dropping in price. All right, first up is everyone's favorite Spider-Man. I say that as a joke. Uh, Ultimate Fallout 4, first appearance of Miles Morales in a 9-8. It peaked back in 2021 for 3840. Yes, 3840. I remember those days. I remember people said it was going to go to the moon. It is currently selling now for 1184 That is down 69%. In 2023, the whole year, it averaged 1407. If you add up the whole year's 1407. Now that is down 16% compared to last year's average. And then in January, it averaged 1317. So compare that to now, we were in March, that is down 10% because it's selling for 1184. So do you think this book, is this going to go to the moon, David, again? Do you think it's going to go back up to 4,000 for a 9.8? No, I do not. I do not think this is going to go to the moon, and I don't think it's going to go up to $4,000 for a 9.8. Um, looking at this graph, it's slowly, steadily not declining as much, but I still think it will. I think it will bottom out probably around the $1,000 mark. That's why, that's why I'm just based, on, based off these graphs, you know, maybe a little lower, actually, um, somewhere probably around the nine, maybe eight fifty, nine hundred to thousand dollar mark. That's probably where it's gonna, the floor is gonna be for this particular book. I mean, Miles Morales is a very popular character, and Ed of the Spider Verse and Cross uh, Spider Verse, fantastic movies. Those are fan. I think I gave them a ten out of ten. Those are great. I loved them. Loved every part of that. So I do like Miles Morales. I know he's in the new. They're making a new video game of him. There's rumors that he's gonna be a live action. All this kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, but the thing is with this book, it has a high print run and a lot of people are like, oh, 80,000 is not a high print run. Um, yeah, it is. It is a high print run. 80,000 copies out there when this book was, was this 2011? I think when this book came out is there's a lot of copies out there. Oh, is it 2011 or 2004? I think it's 2011, but there's a lot of copies out there that are high, high grade. So there's a lot of nine eights, nine sixes. So that makes it very hard for that book to go up because it doesn't make it rare. If you take a Spider-Man number one from 1963, 64, whatever it was, um, I think there's only one nine eight. I want to say, or is there another one that like tied it to nine eights or something like that? Anyways, that makes it super duper rare. And you have a lot of people who want that book, right? All funnels down to Spider-Man one and AF 15, every book funnels down. That's, you know, ends up being like people's grails to get those books. And when you only have one or two of them in those top grades, that's what makes it super expensive. When you have a ton of nine eights, it doesn't make it special. That's what people don't realize. When you have endless amount of nine eights, and there's raw books out there that could easily be graded and be a nine eight. We have endless. It doesn't make it as special. It doesn't make it like, hey, I have this. A lot of people when they collect, like, I have the highest grade. I have this super rare book. But when there's thousands and thousands and thousands of nine eights, it doesn't make it that special. So, and there's just more and more and more getting graded. Now you can say like, well, there's a lot of nine eights of Hulk 181, not anywhere compared to the amount of these. And on top of that, there's, you know, out there, there's no, there's probably no raw nine eights just sitting around, maybe one or two. So it's not really going to add any more to the number. But with this book, I know lots of people that have stacks and stacks of ungraded copies. So, it is, it just makes it like, now if you had a 9 9 of this book, that would command lots and lots of money. Lots and lots of money. Let's see, a 9 9. If I had to guess, I don't know. It, it's literally get two people bidding against it. It could go to the, like, to the moon. Um, if you had a 9 9, 
I would say maybe 50 grand you could probably get for a 99 for this book. If you got the first one and you sold it. If you got the first one and sold it, because there are probably more 99s that come along. I remember there was a New Moons 9899. Someone's like, oh my gosh, first 99 ever. They did it, they sold it, they sold it for like, uh, it was a long time ago. It was probably like $10,000 in auction. And then literally like six months later, someone gets a 10 0. And then they sell it and it goes for a couple grand more because that was kind of the peak. Now that 99 is not, now it's worth a lot. But like at the time, it ended up reselling again and sold for like half. All right, next we got Vengeance number one, first appearance of America Chavez. A 98 peaked at $2,000 and now currently sells for 275. That is down 86%. In 2023, it averaged 423. Wow, massive drop. Now that is down 34% from that average. And then January, one, uh, it was selling for about 325. Now it's currently selling for 275. That's down 15%. Um, 275, I think this book was uh, selling for around, prior to the comic boom, around like 250. Um, I think, like, just think in the last three months, it's gone down 15%. I still think this book is going to drop. There's nothing, there's no reason for this character to be worth a lot of money. Now, is it a character that is somewhat well known? Not like super well known, but like more than, you know, say, Eye Boy, some random X Men, um, or Gin Genie? Yes. More well known, stuff like that. As probably a couple of own series, maybe it'll continue having an own series. I don't know. It could just kind of die and just never, no one ever draws or writes her again. Um, so this will probably, in my guess, this will probably go down to. The 150, hunt, I could easily see this book in like five years uh, selling for like 100 bucks in a 9.8. Um, I could see, I don't think it'll be below 9.8, uh, below a $100 book. Um, if, like most books are going to be around case costs that are 9.8, that are moderns, um, this has more going on. So if you did Vengeance number two, that's probably always going to be like a, 50 to 60 dollar book in a 98 um this one has a little more going on i would say like i could see it going down if like nothing happens with the characters it'll just fall into down to the hundred dollar mark and just kind of stay around there and just you know go up with just inflation um but i would guess that this book is still going to drop from where it is now and a year from now I could see this book sub $200. All right, Sandman number one. A 9.8 peaked uh, back in 2021 for $1,800. It now currently sells for $675. That's down 63%. A 9.8 in 2023 averaged about 1018 And now that is down 34%. And then in January, one sold for 604 was the average but then it bumped up to 675. So that's actually up 12%. So the reason why I put this on here is it's yeah, a massively drop. But if you look at if you look at this graph here, and you look, it's pretty much right around 2023, um, probably like around mid mid year, mid year of 2023. It kind of bottomed out and then it went up again. It had a few good months going for it, and then it went back down, and then it's been kind of leveling up, just going like this. So it's kind of a little on the upswing. So I think we've hit the bottom for this book. It's a little higher than it was uh, prior to 2021, before the comic boom. Um, so this book, I still think is a good book. Um, long term, I don't the eighteen hundred dollars. I don't know. I don't, there's some books, like some books would just never hit certain numbers like sure a hundred years from now or something i don't know but like i don't see this book in like 10 years going back to 1800 i suspect in 10 years this book is hovering right around where it is now like probably like seven maybe eight hundred dollar mark like in 10 years from now maybe maybe hits a thousand but yeah uh Anyways, I, I started watching the show a long time ago, and I stopped like halfway through, and I need to pick it up again. It's always on my mind. I'm like, oh, I should watch it again. I liked it, but I just never got back into it. All right. Next is G.I. Joe, American Real, ah, a real American hero, number one. A 9.8 peaked for almost five grand. Yes. Oh, wow. It's now selling for 7.91. That is down 84%. 
And in 2023, average about 915. That's down 14%. And then in January, it sold for a 797 on average. Now it's selling for 791. It's only down 1%. And if you kind of look at that graph there, it's pretty much like went up, it's dropped level, and it's kind of just doing this level leveling off thing. So I would imagine that the rest of this year, 2024, it's probably going to level off. Uh, where that level off would be, uh, it could be around the 700. It could be around the 800 mark. But I think that's where it's going to be from there. I don't know. People that seem to love G.I. Joe. So I have more optimistic for this book than previous ones that I did on this list. All right. Last is Avengers number 48. Um, first Dane. Uh, crap. I forgot his bat, black, yeah, last name. Uh, Dane Whitman uh, Bla as Black Knight. A 9-0 peak for 33.60. Now it's on for 631, down 81%. Um, also on average in 2023, it was 864. That was down 27%. And then one recently sold in January for 920. Obviously it's selling for 631. So that's down 31%. Uh, so it kind of went way up, went down, had a little spike up and it's continued going down. Um, it's slightly higher than it was prior to 2021. I think this book, I don't think this is a long-term I would never put this in a long-term category. Um, oh, this is this is kind of hard for me to judge on this book particularly. I don't think it's going back to thirty-three hundred for a nine zero. Like that's out of the question. But could I see this book dropping more? Yeah, there's an argument to be made that this book will continue to drop from six thirty-one and continue going down to probably like the five hundred dollar mark. But then I could see an argument being made that. This is the kind of the bottom, and it could possibly just go up a little more from here. Like, this might be close to the bottom. Um, it won't go up to 3,300. Just put that in mind. But so I'm kind of like torn on this one. I don't, I really don't know what to say. Uh, but that is it. Hope you like this video and have a good day.